Hello, welcome my new video series that is Docker for SPNet Core 5 developer and uh, this series not not only for the .NET guys any platform that is if you are Java application developer PHP uh, or any platform you can enjoy this course and you learn more and more thing from this course and here you you learn first install docker in your development pc basic docker command docker storage docker network then is a very fantastic part that is how can you create a dotnet application and set up docker for this uh, <clears throat> for this application and docker compose file and uh, how to create uh, image for our all developed application and how to push your image in docker hub and you know who i am i am vishwanath ghosh i am a software team uh, development team lead recursion technologies limited and basically i am working for uh, payment industry uh, and you can find out me in email github stack overflow linkedin and also my website my website i all not already completed so every step you will learn uh, every practical session and this practical session help you to understand it properly okay and here i create some uh, series and hands-on lab every step uh, docker volume then start again hands-on lab and uh, developing spnet core 5 application very simple minimal application who using redis and mysql server and then we hands-on uh, uh, I will show you how, how to develop this application very very important is how to create the folder structure of this application and docker uh, compose file for developer is very very needed when you are working in a team more than uh, three four or ten developer working how they uh, set up their environment and that's also a hands-on part for this section and <clears throat> and then we create a docker image for uh, our uh, already developed application in dotnet uh, code then we create an image and publish it in our docker hub and then we learn how to set up our production server in docker how to set up uh, vm in digital ocean set up linux set up docker uh, our container and and pu publish our image in docker uh, in production server also so that's part also a hands-on practice and then we completed our project okay bye bye i think you enjoyed this course very happily and you learn more and more thing from this course from the second part i start up uh, the docker basic part and start coding okay bye bye